the master data query, and it doesn't change much after that. This also confirmed that the lake area increased much before the before 2006. Uh, before 2006, when before the master data query, and it doesn't change much after that. Okay, uh, in this map we show more images because we get support from the Dragon 3 uh, project and we get uh, some picture, some images after 2008. We could see that uh, this, um, this time series is without um, temporal filtering even though this is in fact, this, was, uh, this time series is affected by the atmosphere delay. We could also see that uh, ground subsidence is more uh, significant in the in summer when the when the precipitation and the permafrost ablation uh, affect a lot. We can see that this image and this one and this one, this one, this one, <coughs> and this 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 uh, about six images was acquired in different years in summer. And this one is August and uh, July, and uh, this one is August, uh, this one is July, August, and this one is May, and this one is July or June. Okay, uh, we also get a GPS site in this area, which uh, surveyed two epochs. Uh, the first one is in, two uh, in 1997, and the last one is in 2006. The, the, surveys, the time of the survey is not so overlapped, but it also indicated, but this GPS set also indicates the uh, um, uh, subsidence at a velocity about 6 millimeters per year. And this also uh, this uh, confirm that not every area of Tibet plateau is arising due to the tecton tectonic effect in recent days, but some of them also um, introduce the subsidence. Um, this subsidence may be caused by tectonic or um, mass loading, just like the arising of the lake. Uh, we also derived the PS point around this PS. Uh, around this GPS site, we could see that it has a linear deformation before the master data query, and after that, the is not the deformation is not so big. Um, uh, since the time is limited, I'll skip that. And discussion: uh, the reason for lake dynamic it will caused by precipitation precipitation increasing or evaporation change and the increasing active layer of permafrost and the glacial melting. The gla glacial melting was affected by two facts. The first is global warming and the second is albedo change. Because the, indus the industry of India was increased greatly in the last decade, so it also um, um, it also emission it missed uh, some um, black black carbon, and this black carbon will fall will fall in to the surface again, and some of them will fall on the glacier, and it, this will introduce the uh, uh, glacier melting. Uh, this is our conclusion. Study of precipitation date shows that it increased about thirty millimeters. From, 2000, uh, from 1971 to 2009 at the last site, which is quite close to our study area. And the basin area is about five, 25 and 5 times larger than the lake area for Bamcho and Namcho, uh, respectively. Uh, and no glacier will exist in Bamcho Basin if we simply use elastic loading mode or increasing precipitation cannot explain uplift of the water level. We therefore contribute, contribute to the, this phenomenon to the permafrost ablation and the active layer increasing. And the second conclusion is that horizontal GPS in China that can successfully 
uh, okay. Uh, we we should see that the vertical but GPS uh, velocity is not affect uh, is affected by more things than the horizontal GPS field. Okay, thank you. And if you have any, if you have any uh, question, please feel free to ask. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, uh, question. Uh, did, you, did you compare your measurement uh, by PSC uh, inside with the, with the traditional uh, level survey data? Uh, because this, uh, because our Because our area, this is quite um, no people live in this area, so we fail to get the leveling traditional leveling data. And this is why we use the remote sensing method to get this information. Thank you. Any question? Okay, I have one. So you use uh you said you use a uh, bad path bad path filtering yeah, to do uh use the low pass low pass filtering to yeah you said we apply bad pass filtering uh, it's possible low, to use low pass uh, low pass low pass yeah and uh, high frequency ground definition may subtract but these are uh, a sign if really you have uh, many many uh, speaker noise. Uh, yeah, yes, we have many we have many noises just like the atmosphere atmosphere delay because it vibrates randomly. So um, generally, uh, researchers use the low pass temporal filtering to some yeah, yeah. noises. So my question is: uh, Is it possible to use a uh, Lee filtering or corn filtering? Um, yes, but. Um, Yes, that, that could be that could be possible to sub, to get information for the annual frequency. But you don't yeah, no, I, I so if, if you do is so you can compare which one Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. 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 That's, that's a good suggestion. Thank you. Okay. No more question? So uh, do you like to thank uh could we can to give a good uh, presentation to us. Okay, give a big hand again to thank him. Okay. On behalf of the uh, 33rd SEIS local host, we would like to thank Dr. Lasami Suwan Mira Kampon for your contribution to serve as chairman of technical station. And we would like to present Dr. Rasmi Suvaduya Kamthorn to token the appreciation. Thank you. And thank you all audience for this section. Thank you.